Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Bring It On. At welcome once. to the Garden of Delights. Welcome to the Garden. Welcome to the Garden of Delights. Enjoy your stay. Yes. Check out Hudai's tent if you wish to purchase ointments or salves. He's the best there is. Well, good. I'm looking for him anyway. Can I help you? Do check out the Pleasury Den. The tobacco they use is wonderful. Greetings. If you get hurt, visit the medic's tent. It's one of the green... I assume curtains, not curtains or curtains. I can't miss it. Welcome to the garden. Should someone cause you trouble, seek us out. You may defend yourself, of course. While in water favors the brave. Well, I am brave. I did just kill a Shadow Fury demon. Not to toot my own horn, but you know. Toot. Oh, an adventurer? Oh, well, I'll just hang to the I'll northern edge first. Oh, a stableman. Whoops, clicked on the wrong guy. Uh, careful with the drinks and smokes, traveler. You're responsible for your actions. Yes. A uh, greeting, sir. Such beautiful steeds, aren't they? I'd like to purchase some fresh steeds for a merchant who got in trouble at this Valley of Singing Trees. He can be found at the northern edge of the forest. Fine. And send a rider out with a set of horses in a short while. They'll cost you 400 gold. I can easily afford that, but... You know, I go to high places. What do you want me to put in a good word for you? I could do that if we reduce the price to 200. I oh, really could do that. I've been tending to the horses for what feels like a decade now. We have a deal. Been a pleasure. I've signed this proof for you. Take it. Farewell. Sweet. Now, while I may go to high places there? like the palace in Isselbright, it doesn't mean I can put in a good word for them because I'm not well liked there. <laughs> the king doesn't really care for me, it seems. But I didn't lie to him because I do go there. Bim. It's been quite a journey to get here. I've already read that. The answer has unique dialogue. Then we'll speak to Fim. I read that as well. Yes, Sahib. A show's over. You back to polishing your clubs and wringing blood out of your undergarments. I don't know what show they're talking about. Uh, if you get stung enough times, you go into shock or even be killed. You need healing. Brother, the only thing that stings is my endless disappointment with the common pleb. So you don't want healing. No offense, but I'd sooner put my health in the hands of a Rillo Barber Surgeon than those palsied meat hooks of yours. I have a healing spell. I'm a Templar. Ugh, you're insufferable. You must be a glutton for suffering. Is that it? What? Wow, look what's just unbearably boring. Wait, what? You can join us? I already know I'm going to regret asking, but would you like to travel with us? What exactly do you do, though? Wander the lands asking stupid questions until someone throws you a copper to go away? I suppose you're on special assignment from the king. Find out how many times a jackass can get stung by wasps before passing out. Whoops, looks like you failed again. Ha 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 ha, that was good. I even saw it stung a little. I think this was a say. I'd even say it stung a little. Heh. I guess there must be something inside you besides sawdust after all. Hey, why don't we join forces? You get the benefit of my blade-like wit. I get another warm body to put between me and all the angry peasants I seem to run into everywhere I go. Uh, yes, alright. Ah, it's no good. There's too many of you. Come talk to me when there is space for me. I'm listening. Alright, well, let's uh, see what he's all about real quick. You again? Do you notice the sun shines a little less brightly when I'm not around? Uh, yeah, something like that. I guess you better come with us. Haha, uh -huh, excellent. Yes, Sahib. A human swindler, that seems about right. Also, what is up with that portrait? 
<laughs> I think based on his personality alone, we're not going to keep him with us. We'll leave him like that. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, he's got 14 Charisma. Well, we don't need him in the party anyway, since I'm already the face of the party. We'll go ahead and level him up just because. We'll see if he has a quest we can do as well. Right, just keep on going. <laughs> a lot of leveling up. So he'd be a replacement for Hamlin if we wanted to swap out Hamlin, but I really don't want to. At least not for this guy. Yeah, this game isn't for you. Can't have a beehive in the back. Oh, wait, I can't kick him out of my party. I await your instruction. I will Hold lead. On. I think that might be a bug. Let me stop to another place real quick, see if that fixes the dialogue. Or worst case scenario, we kill him and leave him in the woods. <laughs> so he's not cluttering up my party. Yes, Sahib. Oh wow, I can't I get him rid of him. Once. Oh, that is unfortunate. Okay, so we'll continue exploring the Garden of Delights. Maybe there's something I need to do at this location with him to get rid of him. So we'll keep him I around for right now, and then we will... It seems like we might have to kill him. <laughs> That's what I'm leaning towards. That's right, I even target my own teammates. It looks like I can. I'm listening. Off I go. Can I help you? I came to make business, human. Uh, I read that there? a little weird. It was a question, <laughs> not a statement. Ooh, Ten of Duels. I didn't bring my deck with me, but I'll see what I can do. Yes. Now oh, look at me, my lord. This can all be your this can be all yours. All be yours, be all yours. Eh. Means about the same thing. Alright, what's going on in here? Visitor, yes. visitor. Orc, Darnella, Magior, Barker, Carantio. This is pretty cool. Greetings. I keep an eye on your pockets, Traveler. All sorts of folks visit here. Not all good. Yes. And I can't get up there. Okay, it's I need to talk to Barker. Don't stand too close. Wow, watch out. You see that brightly colored beam of light? I bet that was a death ray. Like how we can see the effects over here. He's just casting like softened and weakened on, on that guy. 
Nieska. Hey, Melchior. I think he sends your eyebrows off. Oh, they always look like that. Nieska. This place is cold compared to the desert. Nieska. The only people who have ever seen a demonstration like this and are nothing but piles of ash. It sounds really unpleasant. Are we actually in danger? No. No pay customers are in danger. There is a magical shield protecting the audience. Oh, that's a relief. I had a brother who was reduced to a pile of ash once. He's dead now. Aren't your parents disappointed in you? You know, because of this? There is a lot less sand here. Now things are really starting to heat up. Grantiel is a spell slinger from the distant and mysterious Apoth east. Nieska. And Mageor is his sorceress arch nemesis from the distant south. Anaria, save us. Garrett Peel casts Ray of Light. Nieska. But watch out. Diddy counters with the exploding ball Apoth of noise. Nieska. Can I help you? Alright, now it's time to repeat so we I can await leave. Your instructions. Apoth I was hoping we could participate in the duels. They would act like an arena of sorts. At once. Oh, this is cool. This little flower spiral to, uh, that you have to walk through to get to the tent. Hmm? What if he cares yes. about thievery? Doesn't seem to have anything to thieve anyway, so I guess he doesn't. You have to worry about your stuff being stolen if you don't I have stuff. Your May the winds bless you. A greetings, traveler. Good ice tinctures welcomes you. How may I aid you? Uh, what is this place? Have you not heard about Hudai's tinctures? Ha! No problem, young one. Potions, salves, ointments, herbs, and remedies. I have them all. If you're interested, I also sell some recipes for basic concoctions. Be careful, though. They aren't all that easy to craft. Uh, farewell, Hudai. Come again. So let me. Oop. I'm listening. Check my quest. All right, so I need an infusion of protective tears, natural resistance. Let me write these down. It's one too many for me to want to remember. So, protective tears. Let's put NR for natural resistance. Of course, my pen doesn't want to work right now. Excitement. And Constitution. Times two. Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, welcome back, Traveler. How may I help you? I take a look at those tinctures. Here, take a look. All right, there's a protective tears. Go ahead and grab. Well, we'll trade for this. I'm starting to suspect that the lantern is not something that we actually need. It's just weird that it costs so much money. That it sells for so much. Grants focus of the target. So it's actually useful outside of the quest. That's good. Miraculous Antidote. So actually, I had a commenter tell me about this. We could have used this to fix the... Ogre. That quest where the witch cursed the ogre and the husband. And we found one of them to the north. I think it went Locus? Or was it Moonstone Clearing? Then the other one we found in... The tavern? I can't remember the... I'll just look at the map. It'll make it easier. Yeah, so the, the quest we got in Facet Grove. We found the husband at Moonstone Clearing, I believe. 
and the ogre that we had to kill at Talgorn's Glen, we could fix with the antidote. Greetings. So I'll buy one of these. Sounds like something that might come in handy. I need two potions of constitution. Oh, that is expensive. But we have the money, so I'm not too worried about it. I need that potion of excitement. Oh, natural resistance. That's what I need. Uh, let's see. Did I not? Does he not have it? Or did I just not see it? I guess we'll just go through them one at a time like this. I'll suppose that I have one on hand, do I? Excitement, Constitution. Let's double check my quest. Did I? Oh, it's an infusion. It wasn't that powder that I saw, was it? Get here. Let's take a little bit of time. Let me just uh, take one more quick look. No, it's not that. Also, he said he sold recipes. He doesn't sell recipes. Unless they're here. Yeah, no, he doesn't sell recipes. So I'm not sure where I find the infusion of natural resistance. Unless I can craft it. Let me check my crafting real quick. Yes. I don't really have the one infusion. Hmm. I await at once. Well, that does present a bit of a problem. I was hoping that Hudai was going to be a one-stop shop. Ooh, the museum. The statue depicts a rather dangerous beast of the eastern deserts. The winged lion might not be the greatest, but surely one of the most vicious creatures that roam the, des the dunes of the desert. Now this is a bust of Ismerald's once beloved Queen Alora, who has reigned alongside King Sigmund. Her ideas brought ease and safety to the people's lives in that era. This interesting slab of stone was found by miners working among the mountains uh, to the south of Darren Gould. The weird creature trapped in the fossil poses an interesting question. When did such beings roam these lands? The engravings on this picture tells a part of the Rillo's history. It depicts Ellen Water, the all-powerful djinn, shaping their bodies from desert sand. This bellow is said to be one of the first that were ever used in the Eastern Empires. Its appearance marked an important step in the ascension of the Rillo. This is a piece of an ornate stone carved facade from the lands of Zeta Suda. It was pillaged during one of the Rillo's raids on their cities. And it looks like At that's once. all I can interact with. What 
What is nighttime? Maybe I should rest up and come here during the day. Well, it is daytime now. There's also not a tavern here. At once. Den of Spice. Oh, it is daybreak. Let's hop back in real quick and see if there's a curator there now. Aha! At once. Oh, it's actually called curator. This place is cold compared to the desert. Welcome to the museum, weary traveler. Does the history of these lands inter interest you? Take a walk among these relics of the past, if you wish. You read about them if you take a closer look. Do you keep your voice low if possible. You don't wish to disturb your fellow visitors, do you? Then immediately walk out. <laughs> At once. Doorman. Welcome to the garden. Uh, welcome to the Garden Delights. Enjoy your stay. I'd enjoy it a lot more if I didn't have Fim in my party. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming that's part of his shtick. It's just to be super annoying. And so you can't get rid of him once you invite yes. him to come with you. Unless you take drastic measures. Uh, may your paths be blessed by Ellen Water, Lord Espen. This realm of wisdom and truth welcomes you. Who are you? My name is Aeda. I'm a mystic by trade. Help those who stumble inside. Deciphering their dreams, or help them find the dreams they truly need. I also deal with spells and magical wares for my enlightened guests. Many kinds of people come here. We learn from each other. We're all siblings in the realm of dreams. That's actually might be important, because we went to the Dreaming, where we got killed by that one monster. I don't remember his name. Uh, seems more like a drug den to me. The doors to wisdom often open in places where one would never expect them. Us realists know this very well. Reality stretches way past the material world you got used to all too well. Our bruising and powders can lengthen one's life. They give us deeper wisdom. Without them, traversing the deserts would be unbearable. Open your mind, Donald, so that you may partake in this wisdom yourself. We can surely help. If you're interested. I'd like to see what you're offering. So you're interested in the world beyond. Good. Alright, I think that's the staff that Biala started with. So I think all of these are new. All the new summons. I don't know this one. I'll probably never use it because it sounds dangerous, but I'll grab it anyway. I think Soraya is new. So Soraya, the Rillo Songstress, they say, could sing a whole company of mercenaries to sleep in mere moments. The truth is... She had some magical help. So that's a sleep spell. Eternity awaits. The spell sets up a vision of cosmic endlessness around the target, affecting their sense of sight, hearing, motion, and touching. The affected target gains pacified, and when the effect ends, it gains confused. Let's go and grab that. Dune Ripple. The cast of this spell commands a wave of thick sand to rush forth in a target direction. All targets caught by the wave take pulse and blow damage and gain knocked down. Well, that's far more expensive than the other spells. I don't think we have Brickfall yet. Alright, let's have her scribe these scrolls real quick. Alright, so she we do already have the summon writhers.
Oops, I'm looking on the wrong side. <laughs> So Cobalt summoned by this spell are equipped with bows and flaming arrows to help them clear out tunnels and wardens. Summons three Cobalt ward Warren Wardens for three turns. Uh, that might be safer to cast in some situations. I have some elevated energy spells for level five. Uh, this one sounds safer. Let's grab that one. I await your instructions. All right, let's get out of here. At once. Uh, it's Arcoon. El Nuator guides our path. Alright, we've already read that dialogue. So we'll come back to that guy later. Alright, to the storage tent. A little disappointing. once at once I didn't see what this place was called tent of the blood pool my first guess for looking at the name of the tent was uh wine <laughs> Which I guess if you ask the citizens of Dalkovar, they're one of the same. So maybe I wasn't too far off the mark. Alright, what's the name of this place? The Herbarium. Tell me if I get the infusion here that I need. At once. <laughs> uh, they're growers, not showers. I await. Off I go. Hmm? Where did they go around yes. telling everybody that, though? All right. I'm listening. Potion of wasp eggs. That sounds extremely unpleasant. Among the more horrible things a person could willingly swallow, breaking this potion causes an immediate and severe stomach ache as the insects begin to hatch. They grow to adulthood with remarkable speed, and soon begin to pour from the user's mouth, searching for threats to their queen. Unfortunately, the increased growth rate means that they will not survive long in the open. There are still a few things more terrifying or still few things more terrifying to watch. The effects of this potion while it lasts. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Not a fan. <laughs> Hmm? There is a lot less. Can I help you? You need o there? Yes, here. I'm listening. I will. May the winds bless you. You need only ask. Yes. Now, please refrain from smelling the flowers that grow around the tree in the back. They're deadly when they blossom. Of course, the first thing I'm going to try and do is smell them, but. Greetings. It won't let me. Welcome to the herbarium, traveler. Enjoy the peace of this aromatic hideout. I await your instructions. It's time to go. I'm a little disappointed I couldn't find that infusion of natural resistance. At once. 
at Hudai, who you think would be the uh, person to carry it. But there are other herbalists around the uh, well, around the world, I guess. We can go check out them and see if they carry it. They did say that Hudai is your best bet. Not that he's the only one that sells it. Yeah, it's a good place to start. Can I help you? A uh, greetings, traveler. Kendall. A blacksmith named Kendall. That sounds familiar. Uh, you look like someone who could use some serious equipment during their journeys. Care to take a look? Uh, who are you? My name is Kendall. Blacksmith and enchanter at your service. My specialty is a combination of metalwork and magic, thanks to my kind parents. My father is a blacksmith, my mother an enchanter, so naturally they would never agree whose steps I should follow when I grow up. They could never strike an agreement. So I made my own resolution. I mastered both. Haha. -ha. Honestly, I'm glad things ended up this way. No one else in Yerengal knows both of the trades like I do. I would like to take a look at your wares. Of course. Why would you not? I will warn you. I'm going to drop about the price tags, but you should understand. Quality tends to be expensive. Battleborn Bulwark. 40% pulse and blow resist. You know what? Might look at this in the next episode. It looks like there's a lot of uh, exciting, unique stuff here. Another one of these star spangled great shields. Which is worse than mine? Is it supposed to be worse? Base block chance 16%. I mean, they both have it, so I think that's just an erroneous display. I await your instructions. Okay. I'm going to call the episode here, and the next one will begin by looking at his inventory, and we'll probably finish exploring the Garden of Delights. And then I'm probably going to set out to visit all the herbalists that we know of and see if any sells that infusion of natural resistance. And I might have it on my person somewhere. I've got a lot of... A lot of potions on my person. But we'll see. For now... I'm, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.